I'm Dustin Cormier, and this is the How to Rock Astrology audio series. The information in this recording is copyrighted by Dustin Cormier, 2015, all rights reserved, except where noted in the recording. The following information on ascendant or rising signs comes from Stephen Arroyo's Chart Interpretation Handbook, copyrighted in 1989 by Stephen Arroyo, published by CRCS Publications in Sebastopol, California. I do not own the following content. Guidelines to Interpreting the Ascendant Although the Ascendant is of deep and pervasive importance for each individual, there is no denying that it must be related to the rest of the chart, and especially to the Sun sign, in order to understand it thoroughly for a particular person. The Sun, after all, is the core identity, the very center of the consciousness, the way we assimilate much of our experience, whereas the Ascendant, although it varies in importance from person to person, is not as central to the person's nature. It shows, among other things, the approach to life, but the sun shows life itself. The ascendant must serve the purposes, values, and creative goals of the sun for the individual to function happily and fully. A useful tool for understanding how a person's ascendant and sun sign interact is to compare the elements of the two factors. For example, a Cancer Sun sign person with a fire sign rising is usually far more extroverted, forcefully expressive, and confident than a Cancer Sun individual with, say, a more con conservative, self-protective Earth sign rising. For another example, an Air sign Sun person with a Water sign rising may appear much more emotional than he or she really is, whereas a Water sign Sun person with an Air sign rising may appear far more detached and less emotional than he or she really is. It should be pointed out that people are often relatively unaware of their ascendant nature as compared to their sun sign. In that sense, the ascendant is a factor that can be consciously developed further over time and consciously utilized to aid one's self-expression. I've known people who are relieved to find what their rising signs were since it finally gave them a way of identifying a very deep but only semi-conscious tendency in themselves. In some cases, the qualities and abilities symbolized by the Ascendant were just beginning to emerge, and learning the astrological keys to this factor helped personal development greatly. I should emphasize here that perhaps more than with most other factors in the chart, the early environment can encourage or suppress the expression of the Ascendant's energies, since it is a primary channel with which one interacts with the outer world. The reader should view the following comparative evaluations as guidelines and as questions to explore rather than as rigid statements of absolute truth. Libra modality or quadruplicity. The Libra modality is cardinal, the active energy mode. There are exactly four of these active signs in the zodiac belonging to the cardinal modality. These include Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn, and they all share similar characteristics. The four cardinal signs exhibit more restlessness than the other eight signs. There's a sense of, I've got to do something, and a tendency to be enamored by activity for activity's sake. These active signs share the challenge of identifying the source of their behavior. Are they motivated by true inspiration? Or are they rushing around because they feel like the crap's going to hit the fan? Or maybe they're trying to avoid feeling lazy and unproductive. The Element of the Ascendant The element of the Ascendant reveals the quality of energy flow directly vitalizing the physical body and the overall approach to life. Fire or air signs rising tend to conduct energy, encouraging active self-expression and dynamic expenditure of energy. Earth or water rising signs tend to conserve and resist the flow of vital energies, and hence indicate self-containment, sometimes self-repression, and the tendency of living within oneself. Air signs rising, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Mentally quick and active, inquisitive, social, friendly, verbal, often clever with rapid perceptions can be overly intellectual to the point of chronically debating everything inwardly without taking action, wants to understand everything, lives a lot in the world of concepts, has a natural facility for communication and perceiving others' viewpoints. Libra Ascendant or Libra Rising 
Although a Libra Ascendant often tends toward a somewhat narcissistic self-centeredness more often than is the case with Libra Sun, it, it must be stated also that the Libra Ascendant is sometimes genuinely kinder and sweeter than is the Libra Sun, who often relates to others in a more detached way, realizing that life is not all sweetness and light. Libra Rising lends a personal tone to the way all the other energies of the chart are expressed. Although close relationships are of central importance to those with Libra Sun, the need for the other is sometimes even more crucial for the Libra Ascendant person, whose entire life often seems focused on the primary relationship of their life or the lack of such a relationship. When there is no partner, the Libra Ascendant person sometimes loses all sense of direction and can feel a serious lack of initiative and physical energy. Fuller details about the relationship needs can be understood by evaluating Venus in the chart. The Libra Ascendant individual often at least appears more superficial than the Libra Sun, who is usually much deeper than they let on. Also, Libra Ascendant seems to retain a romantic view of life longer than the often cynical Libra Sun. The following information comes from Isabel Hickey's classic text, Astrology, A Cosmic Science, Copyrighted in 1992 by Isabel M. Hickey Trust, published by CRCS Publications in Sebastopol, California. I do not own the following content. Libra on the Ascendant. Artistic, creative, and sociable. Needs to let go of self-interest and become cooperative rather than competitive. Indecisions, yet a great fixity that doesn't show on the surface. Good arguers and make great lawyers. Expedient and practical in a shrewd way. Diplomats, they have a friendly exterior, but note the aspects to Venus and to Saturn to see if they are dependable. Have a keen sense of color, an environment must be harmonious or they wilt. Cannot stand disorder. If Venus is poorly placed, there can be unbalance in nature. Apt to try too hard to please others and negate principles in order to be popular. The following information comes from The Secrets of Your Rising Sign, by William Lamb with Webb Harris Jr. Copyrighted by William Lamb in 2004, first published in the USA by Fairwinds Press in Gloucester, Massachusetts. I do not own the following content. Always obliging, with superb people skills, likable Libras ingrained childhood politeness blossoms ultimately into an adept social skillfulness. People with Libra rising are masters of diplomacy. What can I do for you? They enjoy the company of others and don't like to be alone. They often nose in and are sometimes better off minding their own business. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, Left or right, I don't know. Oh, hell, wait and see. If their options aren't inspiring, these folks are indecisive. And they usually have a good eye for style and color. Physical type. Sometimes sharp facial features usually well-proportioned, with long, attractive, shapely legs. Favored color, greenish-blue. The following information comes from Isabel Hickey's Astrology, A Cosmic Science, copyrighted in 1992 by Isabel M. Hickey Trust, published by CRCS Publications in Sebastopol, California. The Significance of the Sun and the Sun Sign in Astrology The symbol of the sun in astrology is a circle with a dot in the middle, this is a very deep occult spiritual symbolism. The circle represents the eternal self that did not start here and does not finish here on earth. The dot in the middle represents the divine spark at the center of every living cell, the light which lighteth every man with which cometh into the world. It is the point of light at the center of every living cell. In the blueprint, the sun represents the main expression of the individual, the heart and core of beingness. The sun has a different effect on individuals born at different times of the year. According to the sign and house in which the sun is placed, we are able to judge the general vitality and physique, the qualities of leadership, and the individual's ability to succeed in life. In a personal chart, the sun represents the basic drive for significance, the will, male relationships, and female charts, especially with the father vital energy coming from the etheric levels and prana, fuel on which the total personality operates, urge for power, constitutional strength, and finally, 
A powerful son means very great power to do and to be. Keywords of the son, will, individuality, spirit. The son is the significator of the spirit in man, the beingness or isness of life. It rules the basic drive for significance, the will to be. Physically, the sun is the sustainer of life, giver of light, heat, and energy. More than anything else in the chart, it shows the will, man's highest expression. Its aspects show deep character traits, the chief ambitions. It needs aspects to the planets for strength of expression in the horoscope. As the sun moves through the signs, it's returned to the sign of its exaltation, Aries, the eastern horizon, marks the beginning of the astrological year. Springtime brings the release of a new cycle of life. As the sun moves through the houses, its return to the eastern horizon is the beginning of the astrological day, sunrise. The sun sign in its element. The following information comes from Stephen Arroyo's Chart Interpretation Handbook, copyrighted in 1989 by Stephen Arroyo, published by CRCS Publications in Sebastopol, California. I do not own the following content. The sun sign's element is usually dominant in considering the overall psychology of a person. This is so because the sun sign's element reveals the attunement of one's basic vitality, identity, and power of self-projection, as well as the fundamental quality of his or her consciousness. The element of one's sun sign reveals the basic inner force motivating everything we do. The element of the sun sign also gives insight into how any individual sees life itself and what expectations they have of the life experience. Sagittarius Sun Sagittarius is a fire sign. These are the common characteristics of people born with the sun in fire signs. Basically motivated by inspirations and aspirations. Recharges energy through vigorous, physically demanding activity and by pursuing new visions for the future. Interpretive Guidelines for Sun and Sagittarius Creative energy is directed towards one's ideals and aspirations, not only expressing them, but often promoting them to others. Sense of individuality is colored by one's ultimate beliefs and optimistic, philosophical outlook. Essentially values wide-ranging mental and physical liberty. Radiates a friendly, exploratory, open spirit, very broad-minded, and values honesty. Needs to be recognized for moral, upright nature. Sometimes high standards can lead to intolerance and insensitivity to others. This final article comes from The Secrets of Your Rising Sign by William Lamb with Webb Harris Jr. Copyrighted by William Lamb in 2004, first published in the USA by Fairwinds Press in Gloucester, Massachusetts. I do not own the following content. Sagittarius born in the wee hours. Sagittarius with Libra rising. There's rarely a better mix than the politician and the diplomat. These people have an obliging concern and limitless energy that are the cornerstones to their character. They're people-pleasing sweethearts who will openly share what's on their mind. Or if someone else wants to pose a topic, that's fine too. Likeable Libra's obliging consideration for others tends to curb Sagittarius' temptation toward arrogance. And that's just one way these two signs complement each other. The interest these Sagittarians show in people is obviously genuine, and in tandem with Sagittarius's optimism and winning ways, it leaves people speaking well of them long after they've left the room. They have a knack for making good friends, and they often enjoy a close relationship with one or more of their siblings. The diplomatic one hand washes the other Libra personality makes these glib Sagittarians expert wheeler dealers. They're able to strike a bargain that benefits everyone equally. A major influence here is Libra's wait and see mentality enabling them to overcome the Sagittarius impetuosity that otherwise might lead them to go off willy-nilly, thinking what they prefer, never mind the facts. So people willingly climb on board after these Sagittarians make it clear that there's a fair share for everyone. And what's not to like about a people-pleasing winner anyway? Sagittarians born in the wee hours are superb school teachers. They're naturals at disseminating information, whether it's in a control tower or a dispatch office. 
and they're usually interested in journalism because they love to get the scoop on people. Their curiosity is insatiable. Sometimes meddling is a favorite pastime. It affords them the human interaction they crave. But these Sagittarians need to avoid letting their I don't want to be alone Libra mentality and their just keep trying to please demeanor lock them into relationships that aren't supportive. It's so easy for them to give people the benefit of the doubt that they end up accepting an empty I'm sorry for a legitimate apology that promises correction. They need to remember that actions speak louder than words, and that people who say I'm sorry but never make improvements are best left alone to their I can't help myself routine. If these Sagittarians involve themselves in compatible relationships, they'll stand in the winner's circle with a bevy of friends and supporters applauding them.